This is Nathan, and I'm here to demo a new digital signature extension for Alfresco known as Countersign. For the purposes of this demo, I've uploaded a simple contract document to Alfresco. Um, this particular document has some PDF form fields defined. Uh, these are digital signature fields, and they've been added to the document as first, second, and final approver. As a first step, I'm going to go into Manage Aspects, and I'm going to add a new aspect to this document called PDF Document with Signature Fields. This actually triggers a content policy uh, in Alfresco that extracts the available signature fields and adds them to the document metadata. Once these have been added, I'm going to click Sign PDF Document to go to the signature page. On this page, I can fill in a location. I'm going to use Home Office. A reason, I'm going to use Approved for Release. And a signature password for this particular user. Because this is the first time this user has signed a document, we have to provide a password and confirm it. We do some basic password strength checking here. I'm going to apply this as a visible signature, and I want to select a signature field, in this case, first approver. Um, lastly, I'm going to go out and I'm actually going to draw the signature. And once that's completed, I can click Save to apply this signature to the document. Because this is the first time this user has signed a document, uh, the toolkit is actually going to generate a new PKCS12 key store and RSA key pair for this user and a certificate that they can use to sign this doc. Once the signature has been applied, we can see this on the document preview page uh, with our little drawn signature and this signature not verified message because we are using at this point a self-signed certificate. So I'm going to log out as this user and log back in as a different one. And go right back to our document. <clears throat> And I'm going to apply a second signature here. Now, when I go back in to re-sign this document, I can give it a new location and a new reason. And this user, since they've already signed documents previously, they already have a key store generated. So I'm going to provide the same password that was provided the first time the user signed. In this case, I'm still going to apply a visible signature, but I'm going to turn off the signature image, and I'm going to pick again a signature field. Um, notice that the first approver field is now uh, absent from the list because it's actually been occupied by a signature. Now, because this second signature was applied without a signature graphic, we generate a simple placeholder graphic which provides some basic information about this signature, such as who signed it, uh, when, the reason, and the location that was provided at the time the document was signed. With each, with each signature that's applied, we're actually collecting some additional signature metadata, and we can view that by going to View Signatures. This page is going to show us the document preview again, along with a list of the applied signatures, the date, the reason, the location, and who actually did the signing, along with a simple map that provides the uh, geographic location the user was at when they did the signature. Um, this is obtained using the standard HTML5 geolocation APIs and mapped with Leaflet. And then a very simple document timeline, which shows the document creation date and some, uh, some simple information about when it was signed. This timeline is actually going to expand uh, in the future to include uh, other workflow-related events um, that are a part of the uh, signature package. Uh, that's it for now, so feature requests are always welcome, and thanks for watching.